Good morning, you guys. Welcome back. It is, it's morning here. I'm filming this a little earlier than I usually film, so. I'm sorry, I really need this. Ugh. Work. Welcome back. Today I am bringing you one of my yearly staples, one of my absolute favorite, cozy, yummy, warm, creamy, delicious, fall recipes. We are making spaghetti squash alfredo. Now, if you are into that sort of thing, this recipe is completely vegan. I've had a lot of messages from you guys asking for more substitutions, more options for you. And so I am trying something today that I've never tried before. Uh, this was the only soy free butter substitution I could find. It says buttery sticks, great for baking. I don't know, looks like butter. So if you guys out there actually have better substitutions, um, please let me know so that I can play with those. First, we're gonna start with the best way to handle spaghetti squash. I like getting little baby individual spaghetti squashes because I love to serve it in the spaghetti squash. So what we're gonna do here is we are gonna roast these whole in the oven because there is absolutely no reason not to. My oven is at 400 degrees and I am just gonna give these a score. And you can see the moisture coming out. That's a good sign. That means we went deep enough. So that is gonna allow some of the steam to escape and make sure that the squash retains a very good texture. Now we are gonna pop these in the oven. My oven is at 400 degrees and we're gonna roast them for about an hour. We're gonna check it at an hour. If I'm dealing with a really, really big spaghetti squash, I have had to go up to an hour and a half, um, but usually with these little babies, an hour is perfect, and then while those are in the oven, we can take care of everything else. Our spaghetti squash is in the oven. We are gonna make our caramelized shallot and mushroom topping. Now what I have here is two tablespoons of the vegan butter, and then we have one fourth cup coconut aminos. We have over a half cup of diced shallots. Uh, this was about four small shallots. And then I have a little bundle of hen of the wood mushrooms. And the reason I really like to use these mushrooms is honestly just because of the way it's structured, because you can just cut off the bottom and then it all comes apart so easily and it just saves me a lot of time. This is gonna look really beautiful on the squash you can just discard the end and just let this be its natural, beautiful self. See how it's all peeling apart like that. It's so easy to work with and hen of the woods are truly, truly delicious. You want it pretty hot. You want it over about medium heat. I'm scared, I've never used this before. Okay, we're gonna drop in our two tablespoons of vegan butter. Ooh, look at that go. And go our shallots our mushrooms, and again, look at how easy. I'm just kind of letting it shred apart on its own. This saves me a lot of time. It saves me a lot of slicing and dicing. And Hen of the Woods are also pretty affordable. Mushrooms can get really expensive. I know shiitakes are really popular meat substitute mushrooms, but at my store, they're $14.99 a pound. All right, so let's hit these with a good amount of salt. You want these to get nice and flavorful. Pepper. So we're gonna cook these down a little bit in the butter first until they get nice and soft. Okay, so these are looking nice and cooked down. The shallots are nice and translucent. So now we're gonna add our 1 4th cup of coconut aminos. And now we're gonna reduce our heat down to low. We're gonna pop a lid on this. And now we're just gonna let this cook down for about 15 minutes. All right, you guys, we are trucking right along here. I now have all of my ingredients to make our Alfredo 
sauce. And as you can see, I've kept some of the numminess in the pan here, some of the uh, residue of that amazing caramelized mushroom and shallot topping because it's good. Okay, so I just put in about two, about two tablespoons of olive oil. What I have here for our sauce, I have some fresh herbs. I've got bay leaves and I have oregano. I have about two medium, roughly chopped shallots. Let's go ahead and get those in here. And these can be very rough because all of this is gonna be blended together. We are gonna hit these shallots with some salt, some pepper. If you can get any sort of caramelization on your ingredients, you're gonna have more flavor with your end product. So let these get a little browned. All right, so these are nice and translucent. They're also starting to get a little crispy around the edges. This is the perfect time to add two teaspoons of garlic. Now I'm going to add one cup of vegetable stock. I'm gonna add my fresh herbs. We have just a little handful of fresh oregano. I'm gonna drop that in and this is just gonna infuse. You don't need to chop or anything because this is just for infusing with flavor. I have two bay leaves. This is all just gonna simmer down together and impart flavor into the sauce. And then we're gonna use some fresh oregano to top at the end. And now we're gonna add in our cauliflower. And try to keep the herbs uh, within your line of sight. It's gonna just save you some trouble later because we are going to discard them. So I always like to kind of move it around in a way that the herbs are visible and it's gonna be really easy for me to just pick them right out. Now I'm gonna salt this just a little bit, but when it comes to making sauces and soups, I actually like to salt at the end while I'm blending. So not too much salt right now. And I am using low sodium vegetable broth. Let's go ahead and give that some pepper. All right, so this is on a nice simmer. Time to pop this lid back on. And we're gonna let this simmer down for about 25 minutes. Okay, you guys, it has been 25 minutes. We are back, holy freaking crap. This smells good. Let's see how we're doing. That is beautiful. So you can still visibly see our herbs here and you can kind of see what I mean now about keeping them out in the open, making sure they don't get buried because we're just gonna pick them out super easy. So you guys can see this is gorgeously, gorgeously cooked down. Oh my God, it smells incredible. I cannot even explain. So I'm gonna deal with this vegan butter the same way I would regular butter, which is I actually put it in cold. And the reason I do that is because it's sort of the same as um, putting, like using ice cold butter to make pie crust, right? It just gets super fluffy and aerated. And I really, really like the texture of it better. I've tried it both ways with the butter melted, with the butter cold, and I personally really, really like how it turns out when the butter is cold. All right, so I've added the four tablespoons of butter in cold. I have added salt and pepper, nothing else. We have this infused with all of those amazing herbs. And then I do also have additional vegetable stock back here, just in case we need to smooth this out a little bit more. But let's go ahead and... Okay, this is looking... This is looking good. I'm just gonna scrape down the sides and make sure, I'm gonna give it a little taste right now as well. Oh my God, that is so good. All right, I'm just still seeing 
some shallot chunks and then just from my personal taste i want a pinch 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 more salt but wow this is pretty gosh darn good and the butter the vegan butter is honestly behaving the same this is getting so thick and creamy and luscious i'm impressed okay this is looking really oh it's gorgeous okay so the only thing with um inexpensive blenders like this it'll get the job done i mean look at that but you may just have to kind of keep stopping push the sides down this isn't a vitamix all right but i don't have six hundred dollars for that use a vitamix if you have one. Oh my god honestly you guys i i freaking hate when people are like you never know it's not vegan not because i have any problem with vegan food but just because it's like <laughs> it's obviously vegan you know and that's okay cauliflower doesn't have to taste the same as cheese eat this because you love cauliflower not because you're trying to trick somebody i'm actually freaking out over this vegan butter right now because this is crazy i can't even i don't have anything else to say let's move on all right you guys we are getting into final assembly and you are about to see why I do my spaghetti squash this way. Have you ever chopped a raw spaghetti squash that easily? Probably not. So we're taking off the ends here. Oh my God, I love it. Taking off the ends of both of them. And now this has been, um, this has been out of the oven for quite a bit now. It's been out of the oven for, probably a solid 45 minutes. It's still hot. So keep that in mind. You're gonna wanna be careful, but look at that. We're just cutting it open like butter when it comes to pulling out the seeds. I really prefer to be able to just kinda like dump it on the foil. So here we go, easy peasy. We are nice and seeded. And just for cleanliness, because this is actually going back in the broiler. So let me just pop this off for a second. And now look how fast the seed cleanup is. Done. Okay, so now you can see that these babies are nice and soft. They're ready to be shredded. I'm going quickly here because I have somewhere to be. But basically, I'm just giving this a shred. I'm keeping it inside the shell. And I'm trying to keep the shell intact. I'm gonna salt and pepper the spaghetti squash. You guys, look Ooh, how luscious and delicious is that. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit and make sure that everything is getting nice and coated. We are going back in, oh, with our caramelized hen of the woods mushrooms and shallots. What we're doing to add just a little bit of crunch is I have some panko breadcrumbs mixed in with some fresh oregano. And we are just gonna coat this and we're gonna pop it back in the broiler just until the breadcrumbs get toasty. Now, if you want this to be gluten-free, you can totally skip this part. No big deal. But I personally, I'm a texture freak. I always want something a little crunchy with my creamy. Okay, let me clean up this mess. I'm gonna pop these in the broiler no longer than five minutes. Let's go. I mean. That doesn't work when there's nobody else to start slow clapping with you. Okay, we are out of the oven. You can see we have that nice crunchy topping. And honestly, if I wasn't a freaking animal and could have contained myself, I would have saved that really, really delicious Alfredo sauce and maybe poured some around the squash, give you some extra sauce, some extra dipping. There can never be too much sauce. 
we have our gorgeous caramelized shallots and hen of the woods mushrooms I've added some fresh flat leaf parsley because that will never do you wrong and it goes a long way in adding just a pop of brightness and color to what has turned into a pretty dark dish. Oh, oh my God. That's insane. It's actually insane that that is vegan. I, I know I've said this multiple times that I don't think there's anything wrong with the fact that vegan food doesn't taste like non-vegan food. You're using different ingredients. I'm not about trickery. I'm just about eating vegetables because I love them. But I am telling you, if you gave this to somebody, this might be some trickery. Mm. this is incredible i am so impressed with that vegan butter i know i asked you guys for suggestions but holy i'm being completely honest here i cannot tell the difference between using real butter and that vegan butter it is so thick it's so creamy it's so luscious what's really special about this and what gives it that alfredo vibe is just the fresh herbs the bay leaf and the oregano that we really simmer down into the cauliflower and we let that infuse those herbs make all the difference all right you guys thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already ring the notification bell i'm going to be posting multiple videos a week now not only on mondays so my schedule is going to be changing. If you ring that bell, it will notify you when I upload new videos. Let me know if you want to see more vegan recipes. I am a lover of all food here. This is, this is a non-discriminating household. So I am happy to keep playing with vegan recipes for you guys if this is helpful to you. I am, I'm blown away by that vegan butter. Honestly, I'm completely shocked. This is incredible. So way to go. Earth Balance, I think it was. Not a sponsor.